Here are 13 fashion mistakes you're probably making. Now, some of these mistakes, I think others are often afraid to actually say, so leave it to me. Don't hate me. But with every mistake, I will offer a solution. Yes, positivity, guys. This is all just for fun. And, and, and you know, like I say, I, I don't know what I'm talking about. I mean, I think I do, but you don't have to listen to me. No. So number one, the first fashion mistake is wearing heavily patterned leggings. And I think this is just, just not good for a couple reasons. Uh, it is just out of style. The bold leggings with weird patterns, it doesn't look good anymore. It's very, very dated. Not to mention, not flattering. That's the other reason. I think it looks really bad on pretty much everybody. It just emphasizes weird parts on your legs. Like, I don't know. So if you love a good pattern legging, go for something much more subtle like these, way better, or just a solid color. Obviously black, I think looks great on everyone, but if you wanna have a, a just a solid color of just something different, that works too. I love these. Okay, this next fashion hack is actually a fashion mistake. I cannot tell you how many times on TikTok in the last few months I have seen this fashion hack where you actually wear red underwear with white pants because they're saying that the red cancels out the white and then you don't see any underwear and it's, it's so stupid. It doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. So um, if you've seen that, don't even bother trying. It's a complete fail. Just stick to the good old nude underwear. And what you wanna do, you'll see by these photos, you really want to have a stash of underwear that matches your skin tone perfectly, okay? Brands are getting really good at having tons of different nude colors in a huge range. So find one that blends into your skin perfectly, a very thin, seamless material, and you won't have any lines, you won't see any underwear. White is also bad. A lot of you, I think, know that. White on white actually makes the white underwear a bit more visible. So avoid red and white. Stick with the nude. The next fashion mistake is kind of all over the place. Basically, it's when I see people only buying and wearing trendy items, like all in one outfit. And then kind of on the flip side, when I see people only ever wearing basic, boring items as well. And to each their own, wear what you love again. Um, but to combat this, I wanted to share ThreadUp, which you guys know, maybe you don't know, but I love, I love, love, love ThreadUp. They're such a good brand. They're the world's largest online thrift store. So you can find your favorite brands, truly at insanely low prices. And I'm talking like sometimes brand new with tags, excellent condition. Um, so I'm going to share some different pieces that I recently picked up and I'm gonna have them linked down below. You can shop similar pieces through my link if you happen to like my items, but you can also you know, narrow things down by your size. You can also uh, narrow things down by your favorite brands. And I will also have a code, which is Shay for 40% off. That's, I'm pretty darn sure, the, the best discount they've ever given me. So you can really save a lot of money. So I'm gonna try some things on for you just so you can see like how good these pieces are with the prices. Uh, but then just keep in mind items for summer this year. You can, you know, maybe get some fun trendy pieces or even just classic items that are just staples for your wardrobe. I love the outfit that I'm wearing. So let's start with this Urban Outfitters dressy top. The estimated retail was $79 and I paid ThreadUp's price of 18. And then the jeans. Jeans. Let's talk about the jeans. They might be my favorite. They're by the brand DL1961. They're like a premium, very expensive denim brand. The estimated retail is $178 and I paid ThreadUp's price of 21. There's just, they're so nice. And then you guys know I love Steve Madden. Um, so I, I just love these floral heels. They give a nice pop. They're brand new. The estimated retail was 127 and I paid 36. Just to show you a few more quick examples, the next items are all all from Zara. And I love Zara, but I don't have a Zara near me, but I can get it on thread up. So this first outfit is definitely more on the classic wearable easy side. Um, the, the top, as I mentioned, is from Zara. It's blue and white paisley. It's oversized. It's just, it just looks nice. You can always grab it and look stylish. And then the jeans, also very classic, high-waisted, no distressing. You can wear them with a trendy piece too, which you're seeing here. This is also a Zara top. It's a crop top. Um, it's pretty high up. No, I know it's not for everybody. It has a very open back, but again, I really do enjoy mixing trendy with classic. You can shop my picks with the link down below and use code SHAY for 40% off your first order. The next fashion mistake is underdressing for an occasion. That's just the worst. When you don't know what to wear, you show up and you're totally underdressed or maybe you're overdressed. That's also awkward. And so the solution here is you need to have a pair of what I call universal pants. 
Everyone needs a pair of universal pants because they can be dressed up or down instantly. And, and, and what I mean by that is you wear kind of a dressier top, you wear the pants, and then you, you show up in either heels or flats. We'll start with the flats, okay? It looks nice, it looks put together. Um, it's kind of casual, nothing too fancy, but just make sure you have a pair of heels in your car. If you show up and you're like, dang, I'm a little too underdressed, throw on the heels and you instantly look more in place. Next, we're gonna talk about shoes because shoes can cause a lot of fashion mistakes. And, and I'm gonna start with running shoes with jeans. Bad, not good, not good. If you're wearing running shoes, you wanna be wearing like shorts or leggings or something athletic. Uh, if you wanna just be comfortable and, and wear a pair of sneakers with jeans, then you need to have just a good casual pair of sneakers, something white, maybe Reeboks or Nikes, uh, just, just a pair of sneakers that aren't meant for exercising. Now, another common fashion mistake I often see with sneakers and, and pants are, are baggy pants and people not really knowing what sneakers to wear with them. And, and there is kind of something you wanna follow. If you're wearing chunkier or baggier pants, then you want to not wear very small, slim shoes. It just throws off the proportion. It makes your feet look like little mice feet. So you wanna wear chunkier, larger sneakers, but you might not even like these sneakers. These are like the, the dad sneakers. I'm not even sure I like them either, but I still think they look better with the baggier pants. Nike Dunks or Air Jordans often look really good with cargo pants. But that leads me to the next fashion mistake that I see with a lot of different shoes, including Air Jordans. When we start wearing them, it gets like a huge crease down the center. Now these are pretty new. Um, the crease is already happening. And I see this with men's shoes, all, all of the shoes, like they look so pristine when you first get them but when you start wearing them, the crease forms and they just never look as good. And so I actually found something to combat this and it's really good. They're actually very inexpensive um, crease preventer things that you slip into the shoe. So I wanna first show you kind of the before and after of these Air Jordans. Um, you know, you just slip them right in and it immediately removes that crease. So you can actually wear these while you're wearing the shoe, like they're that thin. Other people just like to stick these in their shoes after they're done wearing them at the end of the day, and then it works through the night to remove the crease. Now my son's dirty Air Jordans actually inspired this next fashion mistake because he's, he has these like really cool green Air Jordans and he was wearing this outfit. Like it just, he looked really stylish for a seven year old to be honest, um, but th they were so dirty. Um, and that's just something I also see. People have this really nice outfit and then their shoes are just dirty. Um, and I just wanted to share the, this is called the original shoe cleaner. It's called the Pink Miracle, really. It's the best shoe cleaner I have ever found in my life. It works great on leather, suede. It really works on anything. And um, you can see even the before and after here, you just wet the bristle brush, put the solution on scrub, and it's just instantly bright white. And again, it works on so many different types of shoes. This is my little, Seven Isn't he so cute? He's so nice. Mm. Okay, now we're basically done with shoes, but the next fashion mistake is matching your shoes to your purse. Don't do it anymore, guys. Don't do it. The only time I think it looks okay is if you're just wearing black shoes and you happen to have a black purse. Like that's the only time I feel like it's okay. I mean, look at these other examples. People do it with leopard, people do it with bright colors. It looks so purposeful, matchy matchy. And honestly, the word that comes to mind is tacky. So honestly, just throw that out of your mind, make it, just make it simple. Just just wear whatever bag you wanna wear. I love how I say, wear whatever bag you wanna wear. And the next fashion mistake, I'm specifically telling you what bag not to wear. And this is one of the ones where people are gonna just eat me alive and you know, this is what people are too afraid to say. I think you should stop wearing the Louis Vuitton never full. I know it's coming from somebody who loves luxury bags. Um, I have a Louis Vuitton never full. Now hear me out. I think, they mostly can look okay, except for the the monogram print with the vaquetta that ages, that patinas over time, it gets darker. It just starts to look so ratty. When it starts to just look really ratty, it's, it no longer looks designer to me. It looks very bad. But I do really love the Neverfull for travel. That's the time where 
I feel like you should bust it out. It holds a lot. It fits over top of your luggage. Like it really is like a decent bag for traveling. I wish it zipped at the top, but it doesn't. Um, another thing I see, people have like the really big ones and like they wear it over their shoulder with their normal outfit. And look at this bag. It's, it's massive. It just, it doesn't look right with the, the size proportion. Another fashion mistake is never wearing bold colors. And what I mean by bold colors are very eye-catching, vibrant colors, okay? Something that is gonna like make someone's head turn. That's actually harder to find than you, you might think. I mean, a lot of people have colors in their closet, but they're just more subdued. They're more um, earth tones and or pastels, which aren't bad, but I think we all need some vibrant colors in our wardrobe. This crop top, I again, I got it this year from Thread Up. It's perfect for summer. Look at the vibrant, corally pink color. I love it. And then there's just some other pieces I, I grab from my wardrobe that I'm going to intentionally wear more often because every time I do, people compliment me on them. And I think it's the color. I think people are drawn to the vibrant color. Always dressing for your age is a huge fashion mistake, guys. If, if you love something, especially if it's in style, you should wear it no matter what age you are, okay? Don't put yourself in this little box where you have to wear old lady clothes because you're getting older. That's ridiculous. I mean, I'm 36 and I, I think there's a lot of people out there that think I'm ridiculous for wearing that crop top from the beginning of the video. You know, crop tops are typically only for teenagers, you know, and, and I'm still wearing it. I like it. So uh, you don't have to wear a crop top. I'm just saying, if you love something, if you think it's stylish, don't worry about your age. Everything that I mentioned in this video will be linked down below in the description box and also pinned in the comment section, including my link to thread up and my discount code, which is Shay for 40% off your first order. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in my next one.